Hello, my name is Dinesh Tripathi, and in this video, I'm going to help you to understand the different products that VMware have provided within Tanju portfolio. There are several products in this portfolio, and the whole intent is to help clients to modernize their application as well as run the modern application on the modern application platform. So Tanju portfolio is about having a set of product helping client for modernizing their application. Now, as you can see here in the list, there are several of them and I'm going to talk one by one. So the first one, Tanju Kubernetes Grid Management slash Supervisor Cluster, basically this provides a runtime layer based on Kubernetes. So Tanjo Kubernetes Grid is a VMware version of Kubernetes supported by VMware. And there are two flavors in it. One, which runs on vSphere 6.7 as well as on public cloud environment. And another that runs on vSphere 7.0 and onwards. Now, the one that runs on vSphere 6.7 update 3, as well as on public cloud environment, is commonly referred as TKGM. And in the TKGM, there are different type of cluster. One is Tanjo Kubernetes grid management cluster. And then we can create multiple Tanjo Kubernetes workload cluster. Management cluster hosts cluster API. Cluster API is a project within CNCF. It's an open source project. And the aim of Cluster API is to ease the manage of infrastructure. Because when we try deploying Kubernetes cluster, it will require a virtual machines. On top of that, we will have to set up master node components and all of it. So the Cluster API helps to automate it. And Cluster API is sitting on Tanjo Kubernetes Grid Management Cluster. And Tanjo Kubernetes Workload Clusters are the one they will host the client application. Now, it's one to many relationship. Uh, one management cluster can have multiple workload clusters. Now, if I move to the supervisor cluster, supervisor cluster is more than a management cluster, I would say because it certainly provide one function and feature for creating the workload cluster as well as managing their life cycle, but it completely transforms the vSphere architecture. So what does it mean? It means that you can actually run Kubernetes pod, uh, commonly referred as vSphere pods on ESXi host directly. And that certainly gives you a better performance. Now, not just vSphere pod, but also VMware is brought up a new feature known as a VM service, where you can use a Kubernetes way to create virtual machine workload. And I'm going to later show the demonstration in the other video, but this is just the introduction. So. Now, coming to the second product, which is Tanju Mission Control. And Tanju Mission Control, uh, known as TMC, is a software as a service offering from VMware. And the whole purpose of Tanju Mission Control is to provide a single pane of glass and is a management of different Kubernetes clusters. It can be a Tanju Kubernetes cluster, it can be a non tanju Kubernetes cluster, but they must be conformance Kubernetes. Now, TMC can manage several of them from one single console. And from there, uh, we, can, we, can, we can apply uh, policies, access policy, network policy, security policy, image policy, all that we can apply from TMC console across different clusters attached to TMC. We can also run inspections, uh, like if, if you want to ensure that your Kubernetes clusters are CIS conformance or CIS compliant, you can run uh, those tests from TMC console directly. They all are provided through UI. 
Uh, TMC also comes with uh, Valero integration for doing backup and disaster recovery. So that feature can also be leveraged. The other important feature that I would like to highlight is TMC not just manage those cluster, but TMC can also provision a cluster. Right now, TMC can provision a TKG cluster on an AWS environment as well as on vSphere environment. Next is Tanju Service Mesh. And Tanju Service Mesh is again a SaaS offering based on NSXT and Istio open source project. And Service Mesh, as you may know, that the whole purpose of bringing the Service Mesh is to provide a better visibility across different services, their connectivity, the traffic flow, uh, providing a control on the egress providing a secure communication between different services, all that we can do from service mesh. Now, one advanced feature that Tanju service mesh brings uh, on top of Istio is TSM can manage services running across different Kubernetes cluster from single pane of glass. And we can achieve that using a concept within TSM called global namespaces. TSM can also help you to manage and monitor the SLO for individual services. So we can define those SLOs at TSM console and from there it all can be managed. Next is Tanju Observability. So Tanju Observability came from a wave front. Uh, this was a wave front earlier. This is again a SaaS offering. And it really uh, goes beyond monitoring. So Tanju Observability, really provide a deeper insight, uh, not just for Kubernetes cluster. There are, uh, I think, 200 plus integrations available. But when I talk about Kubernetes, it certainly can monitor uh, and provide a deeper insight of TKG as well as other Kubernetes cluster. TO also comes with certain KPI, certain inbuilt dashboard. So once you attach Kubernetes cluster on TO console, you can really start seeing the metrics, you can start seeing the alerts wherever the violation is, and you can start seeing some default dashboard. Do you also provide a feature of tracing? Uh, so if you want to trace traffic between different services, where is the failure, what is the problem, all that deeper tracing can be done through Tanju Observability. Next is Tanju Application Catalog. So Tanju Application Catalog came from Bitnami. And this is again a SaaS offering right now. And what TAG provides is a basically a set of certified container images uh, based on you know, some base image that TAG offers, but they also have a feature of uploading your own base image. And on top of that, they have certain softwares like maybe the database, maybe some runtimes, all that we can install on top of that. And TAG not just provide that, but also it helps to scan those images. It helps to uh, run antivirus checks, uh, get all the good detailed report, all that we can do from TAG. Next is Tanju Application Service. And Tanju Application Service is actually coming from Pivotal. And this is tightly associated with uh, Cloud Foundry, right? And uh, you might have heard this provide a single click deployment experience, commonly known as CF push experience. Moving forward, Tanju build services. So Tanju build service is one of my favorite project actually. And it is based on cloud native build packs. The purpose of Tanju build service is to avoid the complexity that developers are going to face. So it really take the entire source code. Let's say you are building a Spring-based application or any other Java-based application or any other language application. It really take the entire source code and create OCI compliant container image that you can use, plug in your CI CD pipeline, or you can use to deploy the containers or pods in a Kubernetes environment. TBS can run on Kubernetes cluster so it can run on a TKG or maybe a non-TKG cluster. 
Next is Tranju Data Services. And Tranju Data Service is again coming from Pivotal. And the whole purpose of Tranju Data Service is to provide you a modern databases, relational, non, relational database, non-relational database, all that can be provided through Tanju Data Service and they run on a Kubernetes and I think also on, on Kubernetes environment too. Next is Tanju Kubernetes Grid Integrated Edition of TKGI. This was formerly PKS. And this is again one of the flavor and you can say that uh, provide again runtime like Tanju Kubernetes Grid and uh, this is kind of old product and maybe going forward uh, VMware may go with TKG, not sure, but, but this is again one of the alternative that we have available today. Next is Tanju application platform. So this is the very new product that got announced uh, recently, a couple of days back, and this is still in beta, but the whole purpose of Tanju application platform is to accelerate the application development and deployment story, right? It provide uh, really much more features for developers who don't really, they don't have to worry about how the application is going to build, how application is going to deploy. All that is taken care internally through time application platform. So I have also wrote a blog about this and I'll put on the video description. Feel free to go through. So that's all about the introduction and I'll deep dive on individual uh, components, individual products in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.